Welcome back everybody, here we are and we're uh, going to install a 15k carbon tank winch to the uh, 2022 Chevy Silverado. So that's the uh, final product, you stay tuned and you'll see us fit that. So big thanks to Dirt Boy 4x4 for supplying the winch cradle. So they're up in Bundy and they're doing a cracking job. Uh, we're gonna, there's the tank 15k winch from Carbon Off-Road that we're going to uh, install. So it should fit nicely behind the bumper as you can see. So just cracking on here. So there's a few plastic uh, screws just underneath the guard there. Rip them bad boys out and that'll uh, give you access to uh, one pesky screw that just sits behind that that guard. So once all the screws are out, just uh, unclip it. There's a couple of clips behind it. Pull it out and then that will expose a bit of space just to get to this screw here. So once that screws out, you'll then be able to unclip the uh, front fascia that goes around the the light as you can see once it's out it's just a matter of uh, just getting your hands in behind that fascia and just popping it out it takes a bit of force once it's out it uh, pops out as shown so you've just got those clips just along the side once they're out you can just work along the uh, face under the light and next to the light as you can see here it just clips out and we've just got a couple of clips in behind the back of it as we show right there so just those two white clips they'll just clip in the side there once they're out you can pull that fascia out of the way and that uh, opens up a bit of space for us to get to the uh, bolts to take the front grill off um, before we take that grill off we do need to take off these two little uh, hex screws here just on the hood latch so that hood latch is out of the way then that top plastic cover can uh, be removed so this top plastic cover to remove that just pop up these plastic little clips uh, there's a whole heap of them once they're popped out, pop the centers out, you can pop the whole plug out and then that uh, gets to these two screws, one either side and then the four or five across the top. Once they're all undone, you can then rip out the grill. Just be mindful behind the grill, you do have the little cable that you need to uh, disconnect for the front camera. So we'll just rip these off and there you have it, the grill's ripped out and then you've got four bolts across the top. Uh, just to access those, it's just this little uh, little plastic bit so we just pull that out of the way just so we can get in behind it to pull those four bolts from the top just to undo those and just get the little strip out of the way on the other side and that will pull those bolts out no worries and just taking those out and then underneath you've got three of these bolts either side underneath so just uh, rip those six bolts out and then that will free up the whole bumper for it to be uh, pulled out and then uh, once you pull that whole bumper bar off, you're left with a mass amount of space. So here we are, we've removed the bumper and we're left with this pesky looking bit of plastic here, which is obviously the active shutter. So you can't get rid of it. You probably can if you can uh, work through the computer. Um, we don't know how to, so we're just going to relocate that because um, I do not want any any codes. So I'll just take out the uh, this shroud. I'll throw the shroud in the bin, but I will be keeping the active shutters. And we'll pretty well just relocate that up onto, up above the grill, um, just above the bumper bar. So I'm just removing four of the fins and then turn that 180 degrees and that'll go at the top. So there you have it, the active shutter's all been removed. And now we've just got to unbolt those four bolts to remove those recovery points. And the Dirt Boy 4x4 bracket will bolt straight in. So we'll just remove these four bolts now. Once these bolts are removed, we can uh, get rid of those bolts. We won't need them as the Dirt Boy 4x4 bracket actually comes with the supplied rated bolts for that. Obviously, we need a little bit longer to cover that bracket. So here you can see that we have it uh, all bolted up together and it's looking quite neat. And we've obviously we've used those bigger winch, but we do now have the active shutter mount in the way. So we're just going to hack that off, just cut that side. This side's fine on the passenger side. It's just the driver side that hit. So um, we'll just pull the winch back out again and then we'll rip that bracket off and cut off the end of it there. As you can see, just removing that portion. So once it's cut out of the way, the winch fits in there perfectly. So we're we'll just bolting that winch in, just making sure all the clearances are right. We did have a little issue just with the air conditioner hose there. So obviously we've stopped it just short and then that's where we're going to have to make it work. So by doing that um, with the bumper bar, well, there is a fair bit of cutting in behind it and cut out the slot for the fair lead and then the rest is just all the for the winch
As you can see there, we've got it all cut out and put back on. So a big shout out to the Carbon Off-Road team for supplying the winch. Here you can see the active shutter. Uh, we've just relocated that 180 degrees and up behind the passenger side. And like I said, we've just removed the four fins and slotted that in place. So you can see it's all notched in place here quite nicely. Uh, I've done a thousand Ks with it like it is at the moment and I haven't had any dramas with any codes. What not, I believe all the other teams that are putting bull bars and whatnot are doing this same process. I've only cable tied it. So that's a wrap. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, like and comment if you have any comments, any questions, chuck them in the comments and we'll get back to you on any steps. And please hit that subscribe button. It goes a long way to helping the channel. Uh, also, a massive shout out to Everyday Off-Road for all the help with the uh, active shutters. You guys are champions. You helped us out a lot. And obviously to Dirt Boy 4x4. Um, awesome product service they supplied us with the bracketry and we've obviously fitted this for them and um, just to show them on that uh, 2022 to 23 chevy silverado uh, i believe there is a few different portions on the 2024 where it doesn't have the active shutter at the bottom um uh, yeah so that's uh, that's a massive massive win for us to uh, have dirt by four by four on side so uh yeah once again thank you and uh, stay tuned for the next video where we wire it up and we move the clutch assembly and uh, get it all running and uh, show a preview of it all running. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.